home again, past the gateway of milepost 17, back into the vortex where the space aliens watch us from the fifth dimension. It's the valley, one of the last frontier of the lower 48. Some say it's the crystals that make this a magic place. Here, where the stars are so bright you could fall into them and have your eyelids peeled back, and sitting on the porch swing could last two weeks. The stillness, a bit scary at first, until the voice is in my head quiet and I find some kind of peace. I grew up here at the end of the road. My parents gave me the gift to community. After the war, they joined up with a group of like-minded people to leave the race of Southern California and settle in the wilds of Washington State. There were seven families with 27 kids. We lived together and shared what we had. There were brothers and sisters everywhere, from tents to trailers and finally helping build each other's houses. This was my family. I always wanted to be outside following the big kids around. They taught me to climb high, to jump off, and how to ski. A lot of times I fell down, but there was always a bigger kid picking me up. We naturally accepted what we saw and experienced. This was our world full of magic and wonder. Anything was possible with my big imagination. This life made me who I am today, and is a circle I come back to, finding my way. I feel lucky, actually, to make it back here. An immediate evacuation is in effect for twist the road from Elbow Creek. Many friends aren't coming home. It's amazing what you learn about somebody after they're gone. Fire crews are on the scene. Does life take the good ones? <laughs> well, bastards like me live on. Fire is advancing north and west. Evacuate immediately. Why do some of the good ones go while others live on? Is it like after a forest fire in summer where there's green trees standing right next to the ones that are charred and burnt to the ground? Then the next season comes and the nutrients left by the dead gives life to the living trees helping them to stand tall, evergreen, and proud. Maybe that's it. We can go on and be more, love more because of what our friends have given. It's times like these that I'm thankful to have my roots where friends can be their freaky funny selves. And there's the river. It would be hard to live without. It doesn't matter what happened last time. One quick plunge in, swimming with the current. All that's washed away. And today is a new day. Let's have some fun. It all makes sense somehow. Everyone, everything, so connected. What we do today lasts forever.